Welcome back, JC here, and this is how you connect the XSR receiver to the Flip32 Omnibus F3 and F3 Pro flight controllers. I'll be covering both in the same video. If you have a F4 or F4 Pro, this video is not for you because these require a good bit. Uh, the setup is much different, and on top of that, you have to modify your receiver if you want telemetry. So, I'll be leaving links to my omnibus playlist in the top right of your screen or description below and uh, these videos will be in that playlist as well as many other videos on all four of the different omnibus flight controllers so whether you have the F3 or F3 Pro it doesn't matter because these pins are in the same location uh, what you want to do is first let me back up with the XSR receiver uh, you may know, you may not know, it's capable of both PPM and SBUS. So the black wire is the ground, red wire is positive. This middle wire, which is green for me, but yours should be yellow. Uh, I believe that's the original color. I've replaced this wire uh, because mine was cut, but uh, either way, just know that the middle wire is going to be your smart port or telemetry wire. The wire just after that, this green one that I've cut off, that is your PPM wire. And then the white one on the end is SBUS. On most other flight controllers, I show you how to use PPM and SBUS, but on this flight controller, I'm going to say PPM is absolutely useless. The only time you would really want PPM is uh, if you need an additional UART port for an extra device, like an on screen display or a GPS or something like that. Um, but because on this flight controller, SBUS and PPM is shared on the same pin and uh, which th by the way this is also UART number three but because they use the same pin um, you're not saving a UART by using PPM so you might as well use SBUS. Sorry for the long explanation but uh, that is why I'm not showing you how to do PPM in this uh, with this flight controller because there's no point. Alright now back to where we were. Uh, Alright, so this top left pin right here, you want to connect your white wire to that pin, and then run power in the middle, ground towards the outside. Now for telemetry, now for telemetry, like I said, using the middle wire, no matter what color it is, uh, like I said, I think yours is yellow, mine's green, I have run it to this pin on the uh, Omnibus F3, which is the transmit pin for UART number one. If you have a Omnibus F3 Pro, then if you look at the diagram, uh, you have UART number one on this connector on the left side. The transmit pin is the third pin down. Or you can use UART number two uh, on the right side, and you'll see the transmit for UART two is the second pin down. So uh, basically, UART number one on this connector, UART two on this connector. Just a tip for you guys, if you do need a harness like this that can plug into these uh, little ports, uh, all you need to do is go to eBay, and what I do is I search for JST SH 1.0 millimeter, and then uh, six pin or four pin, depending on which connector you want, because obviously this one is six pin and this one is four pin. But do a search for that, and you'll get many different results. Just shop around, find the cheapest one you can find. A uh, little side note, if uh, one of those little plastic connectors break, some of these cables do come with the female connector and you can use, use those for replacements on your flight controller. So just for an example, like I said, UART number two for you guys is the second pin down, which would be this wire here. Um, and then you would just splice this in to your yellow wire or whatever the middle wire is on your XSR. Okay, so now all of us have picked a UART and run the uh, smart port wire to that transmit on the UART, regardless of which flight controller you were using. Now we just want to plug in the XSR, and if I plug in the USB cable, that will power the flight controller and receiver both. At this time, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, just look in my XSR or Trans playlist, and I have a video showing you how to do that. 
Um, once again, the links to these playlists are in the description below or top right of your screen. I've already bound mine, so if I turn my uh, transmitter on. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light, meaning that it has been properly bound and everything is working. Uh, once you get the solid green light, you can continue. So we just want to go to Betaflight and connect. Uh, if we first go to ports, let's talk about telemetry for a second. Because I put the smart port wire on the transmit pin of UART number one, I need to turn on uh, telemetry for UART one. But you need to turn off MSP if you are using UART number one because UARTs can only do one thing at a time. Uh, now going to telemetry, I know this is a free sky receiver, but these are different types of telemetry, and the XSR uses smart port telemetry. So choose smart port. Uh, just, uh, just a reminder, if you guys did use UART number two for your telemetry, then you would be turning on telemetry for UART two. So don't get it mixed up. Once you've uh, selected that, you can save and reboot. One thing I did forget to mention is the S bus wire that we are using from the receiver to the flag controller, uh, that pin is actually UART number three. It doesn't say it in the uh, wiring diagram or the schematics, uh, but that's what it is, UART three. But we're not seeing it. To see it, we need to go to configuration and we need to choose RX serial because that's what S bus is. Then come down here and choose what type of serial, which is SBUS. Scroll down some more, and while we are here, go ahead and turn on telemetry. Then save and reboot. Now go back to ports, and now we see UART 3. So come over here and turn on serial RX. Then save and reboot. Everything should be working, but for some reason with this flight controller, it likes to reset RX serial back to PPM. So set this back to serial and make sure this is still on SBUS, then save and reboot again. Now everything should be working. So to test it, go to receiver, move your joysticks around, roll pitch yaw and throttle should be moving on your screen. If you have created any switches, you can test those out. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, we're good there. Now go to the Tyrannus, press the menu button to go to your model, hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry, scroll down and discover new sensors. Once it's done, press enter again to stop discovery, and you are now done. There is all of your telemetry. If you are only seeing four sensors, this means your telemetry is not working because telemetry comes from two different places. Uh, your flight controller is one, but also from your receiver. Those four sensors you are seeing is coming from your receiver, meaning your telemetry is not working. Uh, as long as your receiver is getting power, even if the telemetry wire is not connected to anything, you will still get those four sensors. Uh, so this could mean a few different things. Either you need to go back and check your wiring, make sure you have it on, uh, on a UART port. Also make sure it's on a transmit of a UART port, not a receive. Uh, also go back into your configuration in Betaflight, make sure everything's saved, because like we just saw, sometimes it doesn't save. And, uh, you know, say your telemetry, you wired it to UART number two, but you set it for UART number one. Make sure that you have the right UART set. Uh, so just go back and recheck everything. That's basically going to be it, guys. So, like I said, check out those playlists for other helpful videos, and I will see you there.